Let's look at some free and open source equivalents to Windows apps. Let's first start with the Microsoft Office alternative, LibreOffice. There are several free and open source Office suites available for Linux, but the most popular one by far is LibreOffice. LibreOffice is a great, fully featured Office suite that almost everyone in the Linux world uses. The first advantage of LibreOffice is that it's, well, free, while you have to pay from $7 a month upwards for Microsoft Office. LibreOffice offers six programs, Writer for Documents, Calc for Spreadsheets, Impress for Presentations, Base for Databases, Draw for Vector Graphics, and Math for Formulas. Unlike Microsoft Office, LibreOffice uses the open document format by default. This means instead of using DocX, XLSX, PPTX, etc., it uses ODT for documents, ODS for spreadsheets, ODP for presentations, ODB for databases, ODG for vector graphics, and ODF for formulas. LibreOffice is, however, able to edit Microsoft file formats like DocX, etc., although they may not always look right. And same for Microsoft Office, which can also edit open document file formats, although they also may not always look right. Also, LibreOffice Draw doubles as an Acrobat alternative, allowing you to edit PDF documents for completely free. For better DocX compatibility, and a more similar UI to Microsoft Office programs, you can check out another free and open source Office suite called OnlyOffice. Now let's take a look at the most popular Photoshop alternative, the GNU Image Manipulation Program, or GIMP for short. GIMP is a raster graphics editor for graphic design, image manipulation, etc., and a Photoshop alternative that is very popular not only on Linux, but also just in general. Like all alternatives on this list, GIMP is completely free, while Photoshop costs from $23 a month upwards. Now, while GIMP has tons of features and tools, enough for most cases, Photoshop of course still has more, since it's the flagship product of a $200 billion company, but GIMP 3 is coming out soon with tons of new features and enhancements, including non-destructive editing. Regarding more alternatives to the Adobe Suite, Inkscape is a great, easy-to-use vector graphics editor and Adobe Illustrator alternative, and Scribus is a Libre desktop publishing program and Adobe InDesign alternative. Also, of course, Inkscape and Scribus are completely free, while you need to pay $23 a month for Illustrator and InDesign individually, or $46 a month if you get both. Next is the Premiere Pro alternative, Caden Live. Caden Live is a powerful, advanced video editor that's also pretty easy to use. The user interface is easy to navigate, and there's tons of different options, features, and effects. I actually use Caden Live for editing videos on my second channel, Ninja Tux, and it works perfectly. It's great for beginners and professionals alike, but if you want a simpler and easier to use video editor, you can check out PTV which has a very intuitive UI and is great for simple movies. I actually reviewed PTV recently, and it was pretty nice. While Caden Live would be more of a Premiere Pro alternative, PTV would be more like an iMovie alternative, although it's more powerful than iMovie. Regarding digital audio workstations, there are several on Linux, but one of the best options would be LMMS. LMMS is a fully featured digital audio workstation and a great alternative to things like FL Studio. One thing to note is that LMMS does not have any audio recording features. There's also many other options like Zrhythm, for example, which does have audio recording features and is great for beginners, although it's quite new and still in beta. You also have other options like Audacity. For alternatives to AutoCAD, we have FreeCAD for 3D CAD and LibreCAD, which is a high-quality, fully-featured 2D CAD program. Both are great options, but if you're a beginner that wants a simple and easy-to-use 2D CAD program, you can check out GNOME Design. It has a very simple and nice UI and contains the basics. For 3D modeling, we have Blender, the industry standard 3D modeling, rigging, sculpting, simulation, and rendering program. Blender is a powerful program with tons of features and use cases. 
While Blender's main focus is 3D modeling, Blender also supports 3D and 2D animation, VFX, and even video editing. Blender also supports add-ons to add additional features and functionality. For animation, you can use the previously mentioned Blender or Synfig Studio, an industrial-grade 2D animation program. The interface looks a little bit on the older side, but it gets the job done. For live streaming and video recording, we have the industry standard OBS Studio, an extremely popular recording program used by basically everyone. It has tons of tools and features, and while it requires some setup, once it's all done, it works perfectly. There is tons of other programs and alternatives on Linux, but this will wrap up our list of a few. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. Subscribe if you like my content and join the Penguin Byte Discord community with the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.